I think it's important to study about the brain because every little thing we do every single day, like daily life, is just controlled by the brain. Breathing, walking, it makes her decisions. It tells your body what to do. Like it's the boss of the body and if it gets injured, the body won't function right. It's quite important to study the brain because we don't know much about it and we need to know more about it because if you can cure diseases and find out new ones. I think it's important that scientists um, have all that information because so they can tell doctors. If we know more about the brain, then the more we can cure it. The way that people used to study the brain was like, they would study dead people's brains. 50 years ago, we didn't have like, really good technology to do neuroimaging. Things were um, very difficult to do with the brain. It's like a Lego set without instructions. I bet we didn't have microscopes. I mean like the cool kinds. So maybe 50 years from now, there will be like the, like the microscopes, they'll be cheaper and like, like the cells will be like that big. Maybe like a device to detect uh, if there's something wrong with your brain. I think we would know how to figure out when diseases and stuff are growing and we would be able to stop them a lot sooner. We might be able to cure Alzheimer's or dementia or brain cancer. We could modify people's brains. I would like to see if we could make a brain. I think they'll have the brain model of their own, like the real brain, but in a model version, so it's not a real person's, but it's like the same consistency and the same weight and the same things the real brain does. My dream is to like create like a different gadget that can restore memory. I would want to study how TV can affect your brain since your parents are always telling you how your brain's gonna turn to mush. How do you store your memories in the brain? How postmortem brains are different from um, living brains, like how they change after you die. Mental disorders, things like ADHD, I wanna find out what causes them and how their brain exactly differs. If you have an infected finger, you could um, cut it off and then um, replace it with a metal finger, but it could be a lot stronger and it could bend backwards. You could probably do it by putting cells inside the metal. Maybe the cells would can connect to the other cells. Maybe if a dog lost its leg, then you can have a robot dog leg. There could be like a signal from the brain to like send electricity to something and you'll give it directions from your mind. If you're scared to say something, like in class, and you have the answer in your mind, but you just can't manage to say it out in words. Maybe that it could say it for you. Maybe we could control books with our mind. Just think about turning the page and it'll turn the page for you. I want to be a scientist when I grow up. I will discover things, lots of things. I think it would be a fun job. I am the future of neuroscience. 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 I am the future of neuroscience.